must move back So I make sure You're right behind me as before Yesterday Yo guys, Phil here, uh, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Um, today we're going to take a look at this effect. A lot of people requested that one, so um, I thought about doing it. Um, but before we start, I really wanted to thank you guys for helping me reaching 1k, which is insane. Um, I'm really happy about it, and... Um, as a uh, subscriber special, I thought about um, doing an editing contest together with my friend Iclens, who will reach his 3k in about two days, I guess, or even today, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that, should be out in a few days. Um, so, yeah, let's start with the tutorial. Um, I've already prepared something, um, so at the end it will look like this. Or so um I'm going to delete everything for now because we don't need it okay so let's start um, as always you need your clip I took the one I used for the tree editing contest of Codify um, I'm searching now for the spot where I started with it with the slow-mo um, I guess this one is pretty good. Go to effects, go to, go to, go to Twixter Pro. Um, as always, 59.95, contrast add chance, um, inverse smart blend, with smart blend, um, few keyframes forward. Well, I guess it's. Is it the right one? Yeah. And speed to two or three. three. So we have our slow mo now. Um, and this is the point we're going to track the, th um, the ring on. Um, so now everything we need is the ring. So we create a new composition change um, the sides to um, 2000, 2000, so we have cubic, so we have a uh, cube here as a comp composition. What we do now is we create a solid, um, 500 to 500, that's what I pick, but you can do your own, should be cube, like this. Um, now you go to your mask thing, ho click on it, because normally there will be this cube mask, um, and go to ellipse tool. So now you have it, select your solid and double click, so you have a circle. Um, what you do now, you go to mask, duplicate it, so you have two masks, and now, that's really important, you go to your second mask, and go to subtrahir, and that's German, I guess, in English it's subtract, it's under the one you normally use. And now you can see just two masks, but when you go into the options of mask 2, you see um, at the bottom, this option, and when you change it into a negative way, you see we create a stroke, a uh, stroke, sorry, a ring. Um, and this is the ring we're going to use. So what we can do now is go to our main composition and drag the ring composition on top of it. Make it 3D by hitting on this icon. Replace it, rescale, change the scale. So it pit sorry, it fits perfectly. Um and the rotation for sure by hitting R on the keyboard like that not perfect but you can do it perfect, you should so a bit smaller so um, what we do now is go to our, the point where the slow-mo starts go to our um, 
go to our ring composition, keyframe the position right at the beginning where the slow mo starts. Now we go forwards to to the point where we want the um, animation to stop and change the position again. Now what I would do is check if it's fine, if it's working good. Here it's not really. Have to correct it a bit. Like that. Okay, that's not perfect, but um, you guys know what I mean. You guys know that you should do it perfectly in your edits. Um, so what we do now is we go to Effects, go to Trap Code. If you don't have this plugin, you need to download it. Um, and if you want it for free, just type in Trap Code Suit um, Free Download, and it should pop up. Um, you go to Trap Code Shine. And now you can already see it's um, fading out at the sides of the circle. Um, and the first thing you should do is go to the source point. The source point is here pretty hard to find, so I always start like that. And um, try to place it like here. And then you can play around with it. And as you can see, now it looks really like a stroke, which is around the circle. And that looks pretty sick. Um, now you have three options. First one is boost light, where you can make it more glow, glowing, glowing. Shit, two. Um, and the second one is ray length. As you can see, how much it fades out. And the third one is the colorize, so the color of your um, circle. Um, what I prefer to do is um, make it unknown, so I have the color of my um, solid, and go back to my um, composition where I had the solid, go to fill mask, edit onto um, the mask, um, and it's under generate, and now you can change here the um, color pretty easy. I guess I used the dark blue. I'm not sure we to see. Yeah, that doesn't look too good, but with boost light it should look better. Yeah, I like that. Um now we can change the colors, color correction will save everything, make it look better. Um and another thing you can do when you want it to rotate here, it doesn't really make sense if it rotates because nobody will see it, that it rotates. Um, so what I like to do is um, add a mask to it. So you just take your mask tool, select your solid, start masking here one, one over here, another one over here. Or you can do just crazy masks into it and yeah that should be fine now you go to your solid hit M on a keyboard and now you have the last four masks here over here and for all of them you select subtract so those parts get deleted out of it and if you go to your final comp you will see that you have those little sparky parks there. So another thing you can do is um, change the softness, edge softness, so that should look even better. Haven't tried it, just got the idea, so let's see if it works. Fuck. Okay, and get back to our final comp. Yeah, it looks a bit better, but I should change the mask fill again. Like that. Yeah, okay. You can change the color by yourself, but that's pretty much it. Um, no, wait, I completely forgot to animate the rotation. So you 
see where the point starts where your slow mo starts about 8 seconds so you go to the comp go to 8 seconds exactly here um, hit R on the keyboard or you can even go further so you don't have any points where it's not rot rotating um, key from the rotation go forward to about 50 seconds or how long your uh, animation should be turn it a bit so it's animated for those seconds now you go back to your final comp and as you can see it is rotating so that's basically the effect what I would do what you have to do is um, let the effect fade out before fade in before the slow-mo starts because otherwise as you've seen probably here will look just shitty like here so press T on the keyboard for the opacity keyframe it from 0 to 100 so it fades in perfectly um, and yeah that's pretty much it Hope you enjoy, hope I could help you. Um, be sure to request for the next tutorials and um, stay tuned for my um, editing contest. Hope you enjoyed, sorry, hope you enjoyed uh, and that's the final project. Without color correction, sound on and everything. So um, yeah, see ya, bye.